Tesla holiday 2024 updates is finally here. I must say we've got this update earlier than most year. I'm really excited to go through some of these updates live as I'm installing this update for the first time. You are getting my first time reaction. This was so the first update on the list. This is 2024.44.25.2. I know it's a mouthful. Um, the very first update on the list here is Tesla Apple Watch integration. So currently we are not able to use Apple Watch to lock and unlock our cars. But with this new update from Tesla, we have the option here to pair our Apple Watch to our vehicle and we can actually lock, unlock the the car using Apple Watch. So very unique to Apple Watch or Apple customers. This was long announced and it's finally available now, which is pretty cool. It also gives you the option to look at your battery percentage right off your watch face complication. Um, very useful, very necessary, a little bit delayed, but we'll take it. The next update here is mobile app dash cam viewer mobile app dash cam viewer allows you to watch and save dash cam and sentry mode clip directly from your phone so this allows you to see all those sentry videos so what is sentry videos for folks that are not familiar sentry is tesla's alarm system that monitors your vehicle and in the past we can only see those clips directly when we arrive in the vehicle we can toggle the sentry mode dash cam and see those clips but with this update we're finally able to see those clips on your phone which is a little bit delayed and this is the theme on this update is a lot of these features were it's nice it's exciting but i think it's sort of delayed we should have had this probably in 2023 but Hey, you can't complain, you got it at least finally. So yeah, this is an exciting feature that you can see it on your phone. Um, we also now have Series XM radio integration. You do need to believe you need to have subscription with Series XM, it's not free. Uh, but the option here is that you can listen to Series XM directly within the Tesla native apps. Next up, we have set arrival energy. So what this means is you can now set a preferred battery charge level for when you arrive at your destination. This essentially means that when I am going on long trips and I enter the destination, Tesla will tell me where to stop and charge to get to that destination. But it's really important to know that when you get to that destination, sometimes you're down to like 2% or 5% battery level. When you're going on long trips, you probably need to charge a little bit more so that when you arrive, you have more battery in reserve to take any spontaneous trip. So yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I'm gonna turn this on because a lot of times I'm arriving with 5%, I'm a little bit nervous that I might come out to the car and there mightn't be any uh, battery left. So really cool, cool feature, but like I said, a little bit delayed. Next up, we have search along the route. I thought this was actually there already. I'm surprised it's not. Uh, this just gives you when you're navigating your destination, if there's something you want to search along the route, like fast food uh, places, or let's say um, you want to search for like a Starbucks on your way to your destination. This is really nice because sometimes when you search, the Starbucks might be in the opposite direction. This allows you to keep that straight path going forward and they'll find the closest location, closest uh, fast food place you're looking for on your way. So simple update, pretty exciting. I do like that they have the search bar at the top. That way it gives you easy navigation there. Uh, next up we have weather at destination. I think this is actually something that I admire with Tesla, integrating weather updates. On the previous update, we got the option here for the current weather. So you can see here right now it's overcast and 61. And then we have the air quality index um, up here. And right now you can see it's 
air quality index is 52. Now Tesla's actually bring taking this a step further and it's going to now tell us the weather at destination. So if you're going on a long trip currently in Washington DC, the weather is overcast, but maybe on my long trip to Toronto, the weather there might be like extreme snow. This will this will tell me the weather at my location so I'm prepared for whatever the situation is. If it's really snow, I might not go. I might stop and maybe sleep at a different location on my until the weather clears up. So I think it's a neat touch. This is something I didn't think about, but I do see Tesla integrating a lot of weather uh, information while uh, traveling, which is pretty cool. Next up, we have rear cross traffic light. If there's someone that's crossing, like over here, we can see a vehicle that's crossing. The car is in the reverse and the vehicle's crossing. So you can see the red light here indicating a warning that, hey, stop, let a vehicle cross. Um, and then you can proceed. So something I don't notice, I usually just turn around and look myself to see if there's any vehicle crossing. But I can see cases where you're, you're blocked on both sides. You can't really see if someone is crossing behind you. Nice feature, great safety feature actually. Um, next up we have TuneIn. You can explore more radio listening with TuneIn. I use TuneIn a lot. I listen to CNN, sometimes Fox News on TuneIn. So I do love the partnership with TuneIn. And the guess the most exciting, thrilling update is the light show update. Every year Tesla gives us a unique light show pattern that the car will um, utilize. And the light show means that the headlights, the doors, the windows, um, the brake light, everything works in a, in a rhythm for a specific song. So in this year, 2024, time to celebrate with the latest light show to the tune of Cyber Symphony by Lionel Young and ready for assault by i'm not even gonna try to say that name you can play the show instantly on your vehicle for up to 10 minutes in advance this is a big attraction i look forward to this every year and the cool thing about this is that many cars you can if you if you line up a few tesla cars together you start the light show it looks so fantastic especially in the dark night how everything just seamlessly uh works with the rhythm of the, of the music like the windows will go down on the lows on the highs the windows go up the trunk will pop open to match the beat it's pretty cool it's a, it's a fantastic uh option and i think this is the only vehicle that does that so that's exciting uh next up we have theater and video updates use use the media card to play and pause any active video content played through your browser start a video in your browser before you drive and enjoy the favorite content as audio in a road so if you start a video while it's in the browser as you're driving you could continue to listen to that audio while driving which is i guess nice i'm not using the browser a lot the browser i find very slow in the tesla um but yeah that's pretty cool you can listen to the audio on your browser Next up, we have seat controls. The new seat control panel allows you to adjust the position of the passenger seat. I thought this was something that would be there already. It actually took like five years of Tesla to release this, but now the driver can adjust the seat control of the passenger, which is nice. Sometimes you have someone else that sat in the passenger seat and had a different setting, and you know that someone else is gonna come, they're gonna need a different setting. So you can make that adjustment right off on the driver's side. So yeah, pretty, I thought that would be the order already. Surprised it's taking this long. And next up we have some maintenance summary. This feature allows a record of your common maintenance action or perform and recommendation to perform your next maintenance action. It just keeps an archive of your maintenance history when you did what on the vehicle and also what it's recommending in future to do uh, in terms of maintenance. Uh, to be very honest, I've had this car for five years and I've done maybe tire change and rotation. Uh, one time I just did a, a, a wheel alignment that was just not necessary. I just did it because I'm driving a lot downtown. Uh, but I spent maybe less than $500 in just maintenance in five years. That's like $100 a year, which is 
super super fantastic next up there's some minor updates uh, top nearby parking to sh or any point of interest page and you can get direction to the nearest parking lot to your journey uh, which is uh, actually exciting navigation will now dynamically route uh, around closed road this I've actually run into a lot Tesla will give me a route when I go to that road that road is just closed it'll be closed for a while so I do not find sometimes the map is updated real time that is pretty cool to have the dynamic route um, update and next we have if someone attempts to open your door or trunk while sentry mode is active you'll receive a notification this is something I'm really really surprised it's taking very long for Tesla to, to integrate this if someone is attempting to go into your vehicle we don't get that notification on our mobile device now we do but it's taking five years right that's a mouthful um, I didn't want a video to be that long I'm gonna record the light in a separate video um, but yeah, these are the updates the Tesla added. The updates to tune in. Now we have Series Satellite XM, Energy App Get Update, the Toy Box updated with the new light show. Uh, interface looks exactly the same. Uh, not a lot of difference there, but yeah, let's um, watch the next video for the light show. And if Tesla drop anything in between now and December 31st, I'll bring that video to you. We'll see you in the next video.